Senator Lindsey Graham raising eyebrows with these comments following the FBI's retrieval of at least 184 classified documents from Mar-a-Lago. If there's a prosecution of Donald Trump for mishandling classified information after the Clinton debacle, which you presided over and did a hell of a good job, there'll be riots in the streets. Joining us now, New York Magazine Washington correspondent Olivia Nutzi and New York One political reporter Emily No. Olivia, how should one read what Lindsey Graham just said there? How can you tell if there's a difference? I mean, did he live through the insurrection? I, I didn't think that Lindsey Graham was uh, overly concerned about political violence uh, in the wake of that over these last few months that he has been uh, defending the former president. Uh, I, I think, you know, it's an attempt to fearmonger and uh, uh, it's it's not all that surprising given how Lindsey Graham has kind of done everything and said anything that he could think of to try and support the former president. But um, it's you know it's as if the insurrection did not happen. To say that as if uh, as if something like that has never happened before and it would be completely unprecedented for the former president's supporters to do that, uh, it sounds pretty ridiculous. Emily. I do hope that Senator Graham understands the weight of his words. He seems to be simultaneously. Uh, indicating that he believes president, the former president to be above the law, but also potentially inciting violence. And this is the same Lindsey Graham, who the day after there was rioting in the streets, an insurrection at the Capitol on January 6th, said, count me out, enough is enough. But also the same Lindsey Graham, um, who is trying to resist the, uh, the, the grand jury probe into potential election interference mm. in Georgia by Donald Trump and his allies. So it seems that his fealty is fluid, but he is does seem to be saying what conveniences him right now.